Welcome to Ashley's Full Body Resistant Band Workout. Resistant band training hits every muscle while burning major calories. Resistant bands are a great alternative when you don't have access to free weights or exercise equipment at the gym. They're really portable, challenging, and engage multiple muscles. Let's start with a band X side step. Stand with your feet together and loop the band underneath your feet in an X formation and hold the handles at hip level. Alternate taking a wide step to one side. Lower slightly and pause for just a second, then step back to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. To make this exercise more challenging, take a wider step. You're working your abductors, adductors, glutes, and quads. Next, let's do a kneeling pec play. Step on the middle of the band with your foot and wrap it around, making a knot. Then get down on your knees and hold the handles with your arms extended at your sides and your palms facing forward. Keep your posture straight and bring your arms forward to meet in front of you. Pause briefly and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps. To make this exercise more challenging, do the move standing up or shorten the band for more resistance. You're working your chest and shoulders. Now let's do kneeling curls. Step on the middle of the band with your foot and wrap it around, making a knot. Then get on your knees with your arms extended at your sides and your palms facing up. Keep your elbows still and curl the handles towards your shoulders. Pause briefly on top, then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps. To make this exercise more challenging, do the move standing up or shorten the band for more resistance. This move works your biceps. Now let's do kneeling bent arms lateral raise. 
Step on the middle of the band with your foot and wrap it around, making a knot. Then get down on your knees with your elbows bent at your sides and hold the handles with your palms facing each other. Raise your elbows up to shoulder level. Pause briefly on top, then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps. To make this move more challenging, do the move standing up and pause on top for two seconds. You're working your shoulders. Now let's do some side twists. Loop the band around your feet, standing wider than shoulder width apart. Bend your knees, extend your arms out at shoulder level, and hold the handle with both hands in front of you. Twist your torso from side to side. Keep your posture straight and your knees bent throughout the exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Do 30 alternating twists. To make this exercise more challenging, bend your knees further. You're working your arms, obliques, and shoulders. Now let's do some overhead extensions. Straighten out your back leg and step on the middle of the band with your front foot slightly bent about two feet forward. Slip your hands through each handle, clasping them together behind your head with your elbows bent and your palms facing each other. Tighten your abs, inhale, and extend your arms above your head. Pause briefly, then return to the starting position. Maintain good posture and don't flare out your elbows. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. To make the move more challenging, pause longer on top. You're working your triceps.
Now let's do bent leg side lift on all fours. Get on all fours, cross the band and loop it behind your knees. Hold the handles with both hands directly under your shoulders. Tighten your abs and lift your leg up and out to the side until your thigh is parallel to the ground. Pause briefly and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. To make this exercise more challenging, shorten the band. You're working your abductors, adductors, and glutes. Next, let's do an alternating shoulder press. Stand on the band with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Hold the handles at shoulder level with your elbows bent at your sides and your palms facing forward. Tighten your abs, inhale, and alternate pressing the handle up directly above your shoulders. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. To make the exercise more challenging, take a wider stance. You're working your shoulders. Now let's do some alternating curls. Stand on the band with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Hold the handles with your arms extended at your sides and your palms facing forward. Tighten your abs, inhale, and alternate curling the handles up to your shoulders. Squeeze your biceps on the way up. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. To make this exercise more challenging, take a wider stance. You're working your biceps. Great job on making it through the first circuit. You did great. 
Keep up the amazing energy and let's push through circuit number two. All right, let's get started. You're gonna do band X sidestep. You got this. Take a deep breath and let's go. Start by crossing the band under your feet and keep the handles at your hip. Maintain a perfect posture throughout by keeping your chest up and your shoulders back. Then step sideways as far as you can to maximize your muscle contractions. Breathe out every time you step side to side. Tense up your abs all the way through. Very good, keep it up. This exercise will get your shoulders stronger and tighten your glutes. Feel the burn and keep on stepping. Awesome job. Well done so far. Remember to drink a little water as you go to stay constantly hydrated. Now let's do kneeling pet fly. To start, wrap and tie the band around your foot and kneel on your knees. Keep your posture nice and tall always. Keep your arms straight throughout the set and focus on squeezing your arms together in front of your chest. That's it. Breathe out as you lift your arms up from low to high. Keep your arms tensed all the time. Do this at a nice and steady pace. This will give your shoulders and chest a great workout. It's a nice little workout for your stomach as well. Avoid rounding off your shoulders when bringing your arms to the front. Excellent job. Now shake it off a little and let's get ready for the next exercise. Great job. Let's go right into the next exercise. Let's do some kneeling curls. Always keep your posture upright and tall. Keep your abs tensed and tight throughout the entire set. Remember to breathe out when you are contracting the specific muscles that you're working on. In this case, breathe out when you're curling upward. Stay balanced and focus on contracting your biceps when curling up and extending them down. Tense your biceps on the concentric and eccentric contractions to get a better recruitment of all the muscle fibers. This exercise will give you great looking biceps. Avoid curling up too high that your elbows leave the sides of your body and elevate upward. And don't curl too fast that you don't fully extend your arms straight down. Well done, you've earned your rest now. Drink a little water and do a quick, light stretch. Now that you've had a little rest, let's jump right back into it so that you don't lose focus or pace. Get ready for kneeling bent arms lateral raise. Start in the same position as the last two exercises, on your knees with the band wrapped and tied around one foot behind you. Keep your arms bent at your elbows at 90 degrees and make sure that your posture is perfect throughout. Breathe out and laterally lift your elbows up to shoulders height. Very well done. Focus on squeezing your shoulders and traps together. Good job, just a few more. You should really feel the burn in your shoulders about now. Avoid bending your head down or breaking form by protruding your neck forward. Your shoulders will be so shredded and your arms will be tight too. Shake it off and we'll get ready for the next exercise. All right, it's time to twist and shout and let it all hang out. Let's tie everything together by doing a few side twists. Remember to select a band that is challenging and push yourself. Let's start by needling one handle through the handle of the other, creating a loop for your legs to stand in. Keep your arms locked straight at shoulder's height and twist 180 degrees from one side to the other. Make sure to keep your posture neutral and breathe out when you twist. That looks great. Don't drop your arms down an inch because this exercise requires a total commitment from all of your muscles. You're working your legs by holding them in a squatted position. You're also working your arms and especially your shoulders by holding the handle up. And you're working your abs with the twisting. Great job.
Welcome to your sixth exercise. You've got overhead extensions to do now. Let's start by standing with one foot in the middle of the band and then stepping forward with the other leg. Avoid lifting your back foot up because the band could be released and hurt you. Keep your elbows by your ears at all times. Lower your hands down to your back as far as you comfortably can. Keep your posture upright always. Focus on contracting your triceps as you breathe out and extend your arms all the way up over your head. Nicely done, keep it up. Keep your arms, shoulders, abs, back, and legs tense throughout the exercise. This exercise will give you well-defined triceps. You should feel them burning as we speak. Push through it. Go ahead and shake it off, take a little break, and stretch your arms. Then we'll go on the mat for the next routine. All right, let's get down on all fours and do bent leg side lift. Go ahead and wrap the band around the back of your legs, then crisscross it to your hands. This creates the needed tension when you lift your legs up and to the sides. Remember to use a stronger band than the one you used in circuit number one. Keep your posture neutral throughout the exercise. Position your knees at 90 degrees at all times and breathe out when you lift your leg upward. This exercise will develop your glutes to make them hard and round. Lift your knee up as high as you can without leaning or falling to the other side. Keep your arms tense too. Focus on contracting your butt muscles to lift up your legs. Excellent job. Keep up the great work. Just a few more should do it. Keep going. Don't forget to drink a little water after a couple of sets of exercising. Great job. Now shake off your legs and let's keep going. Now let's get up and do some alternating shoulder presses. We're gonna burn your shoulders and make them defined and strong. Stand with your arms slightly bent and press one arm at a time, rocking slightly from side to side. Breathe out as you press upward and try to extend your arms up as high as you comfortably can. You're doing an amazing job. Keep the posture nice and tall throughout and don't bend your neck forward. Do it and keep on doing it, just a few more. Great job. This exercise primarily works your shoulders. It also works your triceps, core muscles, and obliques. So your waistline will be smaller, your arms will be shredded, and your shoulders will be beautiful and strong. You're almost done. No slowing down now. You did it! You're finally at the last exercise of this circuit. Now let's blast some biceps. With the same stance as the last exercise, make sure your band is heavier to do bicep curls. And as before, make sure that your posture is perfect. Curl one at a time and sway a little bit to the side that you're curling. Breathe out as you curl up. Very nicely done. Remember to curl all the way up without lifting your elbow and lower your arms all the way down to a straight arm position. We encourage you to exercise smarter and complement that with healthy eating. And we always push you to do more so that you'll reach your fitness goal sooner. Put it all together and your connected mind and body will be very well rewarded in strength, 
clarity and physical beauty. Great job on finishing your second circuit. Now get some food, rest, and stretch. Thank you for doing a fantastic job.